Since the dawn of time, plants have protected suburbia from the zombies. But now the world has changed. Welcome to Zombabia. So I love Plants vs. Zombies, Andrea. I know you like Plants vs. Zombies because I went to the original uh, press event for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare before Game Trailers made the move to Defy, and there was Andrea Renee. Playing there I was. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Uh, and so I think just as surprising as uh, Garden Warfare, this third person shooter, you know, coming to this franchise, we're getting Garden Warfare 2. Uh, yeah! And the imagination races at all of the weird things that they could add to the game. And actually, I'm going to have to bring out a list because there's so many specific things that they talked about. Um, uh, I actually, I'm just curious to, to bounce it off you of, of what uh, your anticipation level go is going into <laughs> Garden Warfare 2 uh, and what you thought was cool. Well, I really enjoyed uh, Garden Warfare. I, when it came out, I thought it was a really fresh look on the uh, franchise that I love. I think PopCap has done such a fantastic job of creating this unique world, this suburbia where there's all these different really fun personalities in these plants and in the zombies. And now for Garden Warfare 2, they've decided to kind of like swap roles. So instead of the plants defending you know, Dave's house, it's, you know, the zombies defending Zomburbia and, and Zomboss. And so the plants are now like, they've been overrun. The zombies have run them out of town and they're not going down without a fight. So now they're coming back trying to reclaim their lost home and it's got a, you know, a nice little spin on it. I mean, the little section of gameplay that we did get to play, I didn't think looked dramatically different than Garden no. Warfare. I mean, yeah. it looked almost identical style wise i mean except like you know the roles were reversed right you're playing you're defending as zombies and attacking as plants in in specific modes so the mode that we got to play was graveyard ops which is just a play on garden ops which was in the original game and um I, I thought I thought it was fun. I thought I think the new characters they've added are also really neat. So the zombies that we got to play as were the um, Super Brains, which is kind of like a movie star zombie who has a lot of melee attacks and special abilities. Then there's Captain Deadbird, who we saw in the Plants vs. Zombie. Oh, it's Deadbeard. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Who Not we to saw correct in you the, on a silly name. <laughs> I know, right? In the Plants vs. Zombies two, um, you know, mobile game. Uh, who's kind of the sniper, but he's got a peg leg, so he doesn't move very fast. And then there's Imp and Z, which is the little imp zombie that kind of, you know, like gets shot from the cannons um, in the tower defense game. He has a mech suit, very Titanfall-esque, and I asked, you know, some people from EA, I was like, eh, you guys have a mech suit game, you know, did you guys take some inspiration? And they're like, maybe, maybe we did. <laughs> Because you don't start uh, the imp. One of his abilities is actually to bring in the suit and then to drop, I, the, drop the suit. Yeah. Because I played as the imp and I loved him. He was my favorite out of the new zombies. And you actually like as the imp have to get in. And when you summon the suit, it totally does a Titanfall like down into the exactly. The, the ground. It's totally it definitely Titanfall. Like, and parody is what those guys do so well. Um, yeah, it's worth noting that we didn't play as plants. I thought that was interesting. So we just played uh, Graveyard Ops and we just played as the zombies. And then there's also Citron, Rose, and Colonel Corn that are the three new characters. Um, that they're uh, uh, bringing. They said there's 40 new characters? Yeah, I, I, I have no idea like if those are just a lot of like NPC characters or maybe they're like wave based, you know, so you know, in Garden Ops you get a lot of these you know, plant characters that come that you attack but you don't necessarily play as. So these are the six new playable characters. We're definitely going to see lots more types of zombies and types of plants in all of the modes in the final game once it's released. Um, the, for the plant characters, I thought the design of Citron was really kind of cheeky and fun. So it's a genetically modified orange. And he has a special weapon called an EM Peach. And I'm like, 
I just love the play on words. PopCap is so great at being really kind of whimsical and funny with, with their characters. And they had a great presentation. Like when they were announcing all these characters, the guys were cracking up, you know, like they were cracking themselves up explaining <laughs> yeah, stuff. Exactly. And you could, you could really get the vibe. Because, you know, I, I could see people that are like, okay, Garden Warfare 2, maybe that seems a little rushed. Like, I don't know if that's necessarily a game that, like, people were dying, you know, uh, I mean, obviously eager to get more of. They mentioned, you know, six million people played Garden Warfare. And, um, you know, they had lots of microtransactions, lots of fun costumes and items you could add. So, like, more of Garden Warfare, I'm sure people were digging. But, like, a specific sequel, you know, the question would be raised, like, okay, what are you doing to up the ante? Um, but it seemed like they just had so much fun building more stuff and adding more stuff to this world um, that, uh, you know, I could see this doing well for them if people are, uh, maybe didn't check out the first Garden Warfare 1, uh, which they actually mentioned that you can character transfer, so if you unlocked a bunch of cool stuff in Garden Warfare 1, you can bring it into Garden Warfare 2 along with all the stuff that they're adding. Which I think is huge. As somebody yeah. who put a lot of time into trying to get those packs and to, you know, getting credits so you could buy them to get all these different, you know, costume items, it would have been really heartbreaking if you couldn't have brought them with. So I'm, I think, good job EA. I mean, I don't know how a lot of people feel about the microtransactions in the game, but at least least they're saying if you did, you know, spend a lot of time unlocking or buying unlocks for these uh, cosmetic items, you can bring them with into the new game. So, good job. Twelve new battlegrounds. Uh, they didn't talk about all of them, but they mentioned uh, you're going into snow, outer space, there's a theme park. Uh, the one that we played was the uh, Zombot Factory, where all of the, the big Zombots are made. Uh, so, like, a little bit of context. You know, I don't know how much storytelling you can really do uh, in that universe, um, considering you have just crazy characters like Dave and... Uh, um, the, the leader of the zombie army, but uh, it's kind of nice that, you know, they now they were getting on the zombie side of things, we can see what their lifestyle is like. And they definitely put a focus on solo play. So they said you can play the entire game uh, local, you can play it split screen, uh, and you can also set up uh, private matches for solo play. So um, it sounds like they're just kind of fleshing out all of the systems that they added to the first game. And uh, what, what zombie did you play as? I played as the, the imp with the mech guy. Did you play that one or...? I played as Super Brains, and okay. I really liked him. He had this really fun, um, like, tornado uh, power where he would, like, put his arms out and then just, like, spin and his cape would twirl. And it was a really good for, like, you know, dispersing a, a pack of plants that were coming. Um, so that was probably my favorite of the characters. I didn't get a chance to play with, um, with the captain, the sniper class, but... Um, he seemed like he'd be a really fun character too, but I have to say I'm a little conflicted as playing from the zombie perspective because I never liked playing as the zombies in the original Garden Warfare. I loved playing as the plants because the plants are the good guys and the zombies right. are the bad guys. I don't like that the zombies are like supposed to be the good guy now. I don't like that. How do you feel about it? <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be the good guy. I mean, I think you, um, you you can pick both sides of it. I think it's just the obvious, you know, reversal of, like, if we're going to create new environments, let's have them be zombie-focused instead of being plant-focused. And I think just for the sake of a demo at Judges Week, they were like, let's let's focus on one class so we're not, you know, you know trying to explain six different new classes these people are playing so we can just focus on, you know, a, a small group that they can get used to. Um, but yeah, it's weird. Uh, the, the thing that struck me about Garden Warfare 1 was it was weird switching teams a lot. Like one, t one round I'd play as a plant and then a zombie and then back and forth. And then remembering what side I was on. Because I'd see a zombie and be like, ah, zombie. Oh, wait, I'm a zombie. Right. You know, so it was tough. Like, you know, I'm used to playing something like Halo, you know, or, or just a, a, a game where you're clearly distinguished team-wise by like a color or, you know, like the, some way your armor is, you know, dressed. But you're both humans where uh, it is kind of weird mentally to switch back and forth between such diverse and obviously different types of classes in a multiplayer shooter. But uh, I, I think Garden Warfare 1 was a competent shooter. I think it was definitely something you could get better at and something you could pick a class that you really enjoy that would fit your play style and um, you know, learn strategies and get to know the maps better. Um, and obviously that's carrying into Garden Warfare 2, but I think the big thing they played up is it's just fun to experience this world and play with these characters and dress them up in weird ways, and uh, I found myself cracking up, you know, running through the environments, and not something you really do playing a, a, a squad-based co-op shooter that often, you know, cracking up at, at jokes and, and sound, even just like the sound effects, not even lines of dialogue, but just like noises. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, really and fun. the way that the, the characters are animated, you know, they all have a, like a particular gait to the way that they move. They all like, you know, like aim their weapons a very particular way. The sounds that the, like the zombies make or the sounds that the plants make. It's, I mean, one of the highlights of playing Garden Warfare was just, it was just so unique and different from so many shooters out there. 
um, that I'm really excited to check out more of Garden Warfare 2. Yeah, and if you guys liked it uh, on GT, more is coming. Uh, there's just, yeah, more characters and more stuff. As we mentioned, there's all sorts of maps that we didn't check out. So maybe we'll see um, more of what we saw at Judges Week, or maybe we'll see some new stuff at uh, E3 at uh, EA's press conference. But uh, we know there is a Garden Warfare 2 coming. Um, so thank you very much for checking it out, and uh, talk to you about more E3 stuff soon.